Hey guys, are you curious about peritoneal dialysis and which treatment is right for you? Today, we're going to be taking you step by step on how to set up a home dialysis machine. Watch our daily routine and see what peritoneal dialysis is all about. So today, we are going to show you exactly how to set up a peritoneal dialysis machine. Our machine was made by Baxter Healthcare and we were trained by U.S. Renal Care. We would like to start off our video by giving them both a huge thank you for all their help in getting us set up at home. Without you both, this would not have been possible. Click the links in the description below to learn more about them and visit their website. Treatment options will vary based on your condition. As for me, I do dialysis seven days a week, eight hours a day. Switching to PD was the best choice for me and I absolutely love it. What I enjoy is being in the comfort of my own home, doing dialysis on my time, and not having such a strict diet like I did on hemodialysis. There's so much more freedom being on PD and honestly, it's so easy to set up. Don't let the fear of high infection or the setup process scare you. Just remember the number one rule, and that is to stay clean. Now, let's set up the machine. First step is opening the heater lid and removing the screen. Next, we touch the on button. Before starting your treatment, you are always going to make sure and test that your machine is still working correctly. Did the device produce audio alert tones? Verify your name, and when ready, press go. Before starting your treatment, enter your weight, blood pressure, and temperature. Make sure your treatment is correct. If so, press confirm. Select a drain option, then touch next. You have the option to either do an open drain, which would lead to your bathroom, or you can have a drain bag. For us, we always go with an open drain. Gather your treatment supplies according to your program. Items you'll need in order to prepare for your treatment. You will need a disposable cassette, two disconnect caps, as well as mask. Once you gather all your supplies, hit next. Now the machine will let you know which solutions to get based off your treatment. Remove bags from packaging. Lay bags on table and make sure bag lines are capped, bags are leak free, solutions are clear and not expired. Do not stack bags. Based off my treatment, these are the two solution bags I will be using tonight two greens, one that is 6,000 and the other that is 3,000. Both are 2.5s. When opening the bags you want to make sure there is no leakage, it is not expired, and wipe down any excess liquid on the bag. Once you gather all your solutions and your cassette, press next. Open front door and heater lid. Remove the disposable. 
possible set from its package with the blue line organizer on top. Do not use if the package is damaged or if the caps are not in place. Now it's time to open the cassette. First, we have your drain line, the patient line, and the four solution lines. Once you have your cassette ready, press next. Remove drain line from line organizer and let hang. Four solution line clamps in the line organizer. Do not clamp the patient line. First, clamp all four solution lines. Do not clamp the patient line. Next, insert the line organizer to the right side of the device. This is what the organizer should look like once inside the clip. Next, we are going to insert the cassette and make sure they are secure on the right hand side as well as the left. First, we are going to unfold the heater bag. The shiny part will face down and the fog will face up. Once inside, make sure that it is secure. Next step is working with the drain line. Clamp the Y connector. The next step is setting up the drain line. For us, ours is hooked up into our restroom. Here is a sample of how we set up our drain line in our bathtub. We also secure the line with tape leading towards the bathroom, just in case anyone steps or trips on it. Now it's time to test the cassette. During this time, it will be testing the cassette that's inside the front door, as well as the heater bag. Cassette test complete. Put on mask, then disinfect hands. Remove the red clamp line from organizer and connect to the prescribed 
solution bag. Next, you're going to take the red clamp line and hook it to the solution bag. We are now going to do the same step, just with the white clamp line. Confirm connected solution types, concentrations, and volumes. When finished, touch next. Break frangible seal on each connected solution bag line. Then unclamp solution lines. Break the frangible seal on the white clamp line as well as the red clamp line. Now that everything is set up, connected, and ready to go, it's time to prime the system. The system is priming. Please wait. There's three steps in priming. Priming the cassette, the heater bag fill, and also the patient line. Next, take the patient line and attach it to the transfer set. Set. Last step is to open the transfer set. And now we're ready to start dialysis. Mm -hmm. 